turn. criteria of the FEMA hazard mitigation and property acquisition grant is that I just go over um, with council at a public meeting just the criteria, how, how it's working, where we are in the process, and what it's due. So um, initially we sent out surveys. Um, we started with Baldwin Street and uh, to households that may want to participate in the property acquisition process. Um, we received approximately 11 surveys um, that were returned to us of potential candidates. And uh, I have been meeting with most of them. A couple of them I sent the paperwork to them and they sent it back to me, but most of them have come into the borough building, sat down with me, and we fill out the paperwork together. Um, there's one more form that has to go with them to fill out, and then the next step will be the appraisals. Um, so, as far as the criteria for this grant goes, um, it, it um, cannot be commercial properties. It can be rentals and um, private residential properties. Um, it's totally voluntary. Um, the property owner um, um, comes into the program um, at any time in the program, if the appraisals come back and they're not happy with it, they can withdraw. Um, the homes are appraised at pre-disaster value, um, not at post-disaster. So if they weren't able to afford to fix their house, if they didn't have flood insurance or that type of thing, um, that doesn't count against them. Um, what will happen will be if they did have flood insurance through the NFIP, um, which is through FEMA, and they received um, monies um, for their losses and they did not utilize that money for repairs, then when their house is purchased by FEMA, the monies that they, that they receive will be deducted because that's double dip. And as we discussed and as we talked about with Bob, um, the original criteria is, is that the property stays green space through perpetuity, but you can apply to FEMA to do some reasonable things with the property, and as long as you have their approval, you can do other things with it. So that's where we are with that. So uh, as I said, the appraisals are the next step. Um, the, uh, the grant application, the entire packet has to be in by May 24th. Um, my target is to get it in the second week of May because we're able to send it to Pima first. They're going to review them, and anything they think that we need to tweak or add or left out something small or that type of thing, they'll kick it back to us, we'll fix it, and then we'll send it back in. So um, we're moving along quite nicely with that. So I actually had two applications. We had to send a letter of interest. I'm going backwards. Letter of interest had to go into FEMA and they had to approve the property to move to the next step. And I attached the properties that wanted to um, participate with that application. Mm -hmm. There were a couple that came in late, they're called subsidiaries. I am able to include them um, because I've had a couple with the NFIP issue and they don't want to have those monies taken off their purchase price, so they decided to step up. But so far, we're we're at eight, we'll probably be at ten. So if anybody has any questions regarding the process, what we're moving along, I can see so. Thank you very much.